Welcome back to my sandbox playthrough of Tropico 6. We're in episode 7, and we're in the World War era. In the last episode, I hopefully got my economy stabilized, got some industries in. My plan at the end of that episode was to next um, expand my industries even further, but I've identified another problem that I want to solve fairly quickly. And that's in part to correct a, a well, not an error, because I, I decided against doing the multi-culture um, option on my farms. Multiculture, if you're not aware, it you select that as a work mode and plantations, it automatically drops the efficiency by 40%, then it adds 10% for every other plantation that's within uh, range. So, I, I decided to see what would happen if I didn't do that, like I usually do. I found out um, it's, it, it isn't going well, um, if I'm honest. My coffee plantations here are doing 34%. That's not good, 43%. Um, this one, 27%. That means I have 24 workers that aren't doing much. They aren't contributing much to my economy. So I can bring that number up and, and these numbers will continue to deteriorate. This one is called the way down to uh, 55%. I have $189,000 in the bank. Um... Uh, I believe my economy's stabilized, so what I have decided to do in this episode is to build a pinwheel. Now, I, I've been using multiculture since I started playing the game um, back towards release, uh, so that's not new. But I've watched this uh, person, I first saw him on Reddit, and I can't remember what his username is on Reddit. But he also has some um, YouTube videos of his own. His YouTube handle is A space N, and he does some Tropical 6. And he does this pinwheel. So I'm going to shout out to him. I'm going to use his idea. It works really well, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm not even going to take it off pause, actually. Um, I'm thinking this one should be a pretty good place I'm hoping this will be a good place to put it. So what I'm looking for is an area where I can build um, too wide, too high with a cattle ranch in the middle and still have plenty of green for at least most of the crops. So you'll see how this is kind of tricky as we go through. Now, usually this is something I would have done early on. Um, so this is kind of slamming the barn door after the horses got out or however that saying goes so even with the yellow and stuff in here and this this will do better than leaving everything on monoculture uh, i'm going to transition to bringing everything over here i do want to see sugar is okay in the vicinity that is one of my more important crops um ultimately i may this me this may mean really locating my dock or building a, a second dock um, right now, because I have industries depending on them, um, um, it's very important that my tobacco does well. And I have a place. So anyway, let's get this thing going. Um, like I say, even if I build on yellow, it's in the long run, as you'll see with everything else figured in, it's, it's going to be better than um, messing around with these things on monoculture. So I'm going to build a... 4x4, four four, I can't see very well. I'm going to build a 4x4 four four area with a road around it. Okay, and then I'm going to make that into a P shape. Comes down here. Notice everything's somewhat centered. And now I'm going to start slapping in my plantations. I'm going to start with tobacco because I saw that was going to be the most picky. So I'll get that in here at 75%. That's okay. Nothing to be alarmed about. 
I mean, it'd be nicer if I would have built my P a little bit over, but in fact, you know what? I, I think it actually might be worth it to go through, go to the hassle. So with my apologies, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to extend this over a couple of spaces. And then I'm going to close this. And... Replace my four by four area. Bring my P down. Okay, because yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the tobacco because that one kind of has to be good because yeah, multiculture. Um, and because I'm not because of multiculture, but because I have industries. My cigar factory depends on it. So let's see, get these going again. Well, I increased it by. Not that much, but I did improve it, so that may be worth it in the long run. We'll see. That comes all the way down to these logging camps. That's okay. So I'm going to put the tobacco there. I'm going to go back. And now next to it, I'm going to look for another... Um, I'm, what I'm looking for are crops that are picky about where I put it. So like my banana, I have or my rubber right here, I have lots of choices, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, there's no good place for my cotton, so it's it's a, it's a good candidate for right here. Um, and let me explain another thing about this multi-culture. Even if I, even though it's, I'm gonna have to build it on yellow and it's gonna have a relatively poor efficiency, it's gonna contribute to all of these other plantations that are, um, located around this hub so it's not going to go so it's not going to be a waste of a plantation um in that sense anyway okay what was that that was rubber no that was cotton okay cotton can go about anywhere so i'm looking for something say that is green only in this um bottom right er area Tobacco, I just placed tobacco. Sugar, mm, maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cotton down next to that. Move on to the next one. So I have tobacco, cotton, rubber, So this might not be a bad place for sugar. Not ideal, so that's 82. And if I put it over in this neighborhood, it's 85. So not a huge difference. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with my sugar right here. I just hope I place that with enough space. Banana, pineapple, corn. Um, yeah, I can do better with the corn. Not that I'm that worried about corn, but. Okay, looking for a good candidate. I place okay so rubber is going in next mm, that's not ideal there's too many other places I can stick whoops not great and it would do better up here but I have other foods I want to or crops I want to I'm more concerned about so banana 
for like example rubber even though not now but it will be it will factor later on in my uh, industry so I'll go ahead and slap down rubber right there coca might as well pop that one down now I've lost track again of what I'm missing Coffee, I'm gonna put that off. Let's see. Tobacco, cotton, corn, sugar, rubber, coca. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna delete this. And stick a pineapple there. And then replace the coca. And coffee. And what am I missing? I have coffee, cocoa, rubber, sugar, corn, cotton, tobacco. I believe it was banana. Excellent. So now I have all of these in. I'm going to demolish my coffee here. Demolish this coffee because that single one will probably end up producing more than these three combined. And I'm going to need the workers as soon as those are built. Um. Okay, money is coming in, so this isn't hurting my, me financially. I'm going to go ahead and quick build these so I can get everything set to multiculture as soon as possible. I'm also going to relocate my cattle ranch to the middle because that's going to give each of them 10%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, if it was if I were starting out, I would just control click multiculture, but I have to go ahead and set each one of them. So let's let's pay attention to this. Notice that this is only on 18% now. Uh, this one's only 63%. That was my tobacco, not good. Um, this one's only 63%. When I put it to multiculture, it drops it down to 33. But notice this one's what climbed up to 28%. See how that works? So. And continue. Excellent. Now I'm going to control click to bump all these up to max pay. They all have different um, individual upgrades. I'm going to attend to that later. Uh, let's relocate the cattle farm. I'm not in the least concerned about the uh, really the efficiency of the cattle farm because it's only there to provide this. So to all but one, it's going to bump it up by 10%. Yay. Okay. Now. How do these how are these doing with filling up with workers? I haven't really had it off pause long enough for them to do that. But let's look, let's go around. Remember this was at 18%, now it's at 141%. 
Um, 146%. Oh. Yeah, these are all going to do... My sugar's at 166. So, yeah. It's... it's In the end, it's worth... It's worth the trouble. Um, I know... I, I know better now than to try to skim by without it. So, the other... And these efficiency levels won't won't degrade as the game um, carries on. Now, what I can also do... It's not as ideal as the ones that are in the middle, but I can still place additional ones that'll operate on multicultural and it will and it will capture most of them. So that's at a 75 base efficiency. So what I would be well, it would defeat the purpose to put the house out here because then it that's because then it um, captures less of these. So so I could put this one here to get a, an additional sugar in there. Like I said, it won't, it won't benefit from all of the multiculture bonuses from them, but it'll benefit from a lot of them. And I need sugar. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and place that with a quick build. Oh, I did that wrong. Boy. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I think I could run the road on this side, but the road faces this way, so demolish. Oops. Um, oh, that was sugar. And so how will I build the... How will I, how will I handle that road? Yes. Yeah, it's not... It, it, I had it this way at 76. Yeah, this... I'm not gonna um, sweat the load over uh, extra up uh, a negative three percent with all of the bonuses I'm getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. Quick build that. Look for another plantation um, where I can place tobacco somewhat close. Um, I might have to relocate some of my logging camps, which is okay. I'll do that eventually because I. And the area over here is where I'm going to place Stonehenge. Um, so anyway, let's get that. Let's set that quick build. I'm going to put that on Multiculture. Bump up their pay. And we're at 135. So now I have two plantations kicking out lots of sugar. Mm, I like it. I wonder how I was thinking out loud. How was cotton looking in this vicinity? Yeah, see, cotton isn't going to catch as many. But even with catching a few, it, it brings it up to like 100% somewhere in there. And it, it would potentially be worth it. Uh, but I'm going to worry about that l later. Let's get the road in for this plantation. Um, just to remind myself that that's where I'm going to eventually want to go. Just for the time being, I'm going to relocate this over here. And repair these roads. Oh, trouble. All right. So that's done. Now I'm going to try to decide which plantations get the chopping block first. Because I'm not going to leave... I'm not going to tie up um, dozens of employees with these low quality. Keep. I'm going to let the tobacco go at 82%. I'll delete those last. Hmm. Oh, 
gonna let these go for just a little bit longer. I am gonna delete this one. Um, more because I wanna get the mine underneath this one. Do I wanna do the a, a double? Nah. I'll just leave that as a single. Same with this one, I'd rather. Whoops, that was a mistake. Okay. I don't know if all that was necessary, but it was, I did it anyway. Um, now I have a road out to my gold mine. I have half a mine to go ahead and start farming that but I don't have any industries to build with it so I guess I will for now I'm gonna resist that temptation okay let's see that's gonna that wreaked havoc on my vacant jobs and unemployed things so I'm gonna go ahead and let the transition play out here a little bit as these these of some of these need to still fill up doing that I'll look for okay I'm not interested in any of those upgrades yet mm -hmm. oh, okay I don't mind Increasing the job quality. That's kind of like a long term investment. Don't care about green waste chopper. Not looking to increase the upkeep just yet. Hmm. That won't hurt anything. I don't want to decrease the amount of job positions. That efficiency rate increase of 20% might overcome it, but you still have that kind of thing where um, fewer people are, there. it'll result in more time where potentially where no one's um, there at all. Okay. The best defense is a good offense, Presidente, but as yet I am only moderately Okay, he's only moderately offensive. Um, I think I already had that queued up. Did I not? Yeah, I'll keep another one. Why not? And looks like I let this run out. I'll go ahead and I like my sugar and coconut. Okay, so I I, I have that f selected, and it looked like those were all filled up. So this is a true representation of my unemployed. I didn't didn't um, knock my employment too far out of whack. Let's see what my production looks like here. So, uh, doing well on coal. Lots of iron. We need another steel mill. We need more steel mills. And where was the... How far was it from the gold? Okay, so this... We need steel, steel mills, but they're not going to go right there. Um, and it looks like they won't go right there because of the way I built the road. Do I want to move this mine so I can... Hmm. 
You know what? I do, actually. Actually, I think I need to delete that, too. Okay, it's this one I want. Make a copy. And slap that one in here back to back. Okay. Good. And I had promised to build some more churches. I wonder how these got built. I wonder if that upped my faith a little bit. Did bring my faith up. Housing is still somewhat of a disaster. That'll jump up when I add electricity, but... Um, let's look at my unemployment. Or rather, homelessness. Okay, I have a lot of homeless fat families um, across the economic spectrum. So that's really playing havoc with my housing happiness. So I'm going to correct that. That's a straightforward thing to address. Uh, apartments will work. In fact, I'm even going to quick build them. Um, do need some more bunk houses here. Just there might be some poor folk remaining. Grab a church. I might regret this because I was considering placing even yet more plantations in, but oh well. Oh, what? I don't want that. I want a church. And it wouldn't hurt to have a grocery. I don't think I've built a grocery yet, which isn't particularly good. Actually, so I'm going to click build that. Notice I'm getting pretty loose with my, my money again, which I think it'll be okay. I think I'm pretty sure I'm at a... Mm, knock on wood, a fairly stable. Okay, let that go and see what happens with... Now, I do need to build a, a grocery in here, and this would be a good place for it. Okay, I'm on my way up to two, three thousand, three hundred thousand. I was at, I think I was at three hundred thousand when I went into the World War eras, and that's. I hope that hopefully that number's climbing. Should be. And I'm gonna back this off to tropical first, slow the influx. What do we got going on over here? Not enough sugar. That's okay. Sugar's on the way.
I'm kind of surprised because this is monoculture that this isn't tanking uh, faster than it is. Uh, I don't know if I quite get that. Let's see how this one's. 135. And it's producing sugar. Um, I can add some Teamsters. at the regular speed though fire stations I built those I'm kind, of, I'm kind of building fast in spurts like the the having pause on and then building a bunch of stuff not really a good idea unless you really know what you're doing and I kind of know what I'm doing but i um, keeping everything straight in my mind as I play and talk in real time is another thing so I think I'm okay though like it looks like my expenses 123 so it looks like I have a a, a, uh, a yearly bonus of like over 75,000 so that's not a bad place to be right now all right in fact we're looking pretty good um in the next episode I am going to Toss in a power plant, power to the people. I'm going to continue to elevate my happiness so I don't have to rely on terrorism um, to keep my folks happier than the rest of the folks. I did bump the um, housing quality a little bit by building, by addressing some of the homelessness problem, and I'll continue to work on that. Thank you so much for watching I, I i appreciate you uh sticking through these episodes um and i will see you in the next one